One of the most popular choices for an IOTA is a 10k chest and for good reason. Today I'm going to go over the 10 most IOTA chests and rank them from 10 to 1. But just before I go through the list, if you guys are planning on getting one yourself, I do recommend checking out the items and seeing if you like it as my opinion will be different to yours. Anyways, at the number 10 spot we have Dragon King Chest 2017. Now honestly, I'm pretty sure this has actually made it into the top 10 most IOTA chests because all of these are very like classic naval commanders and it's nothing really impressive if you really like naval commanders maybe this is for you it's got a bunch otherwise i have no idea why this has like so many iotas i have a feeling maybe one of the reasons is if you check all the damage boosting items a lot of pets come from this chest the pets aren't actually that good i'll show you them now they only give 15 percent damage boost even this helm gives you 15 percent damage to all monsters if you guys are actually looking for some good damage boosting items watch my video on all damage boost items or any of my videos on damage boosting items because you should not spend an iota for 15 percent damage boost now obviously if you actually like the items in this chest just cosmetic wise sure go ahead get them Otherwise, in my opinion, this one's the least impressive uh, chests cosmetically and just pure value. I'm not going through every single item, but these are most of the items in the chest. In the number 9 spot, we have the Black Friday 2021 collection chest. Now, this chest is absolutely massive. There are so many items in here, the video would be half an hour long if we went through every single one of them. However, I will show you a bunch, just so you can make up your own mind. Now, this chest doesn't even have a bank pair, but I still put it above the number 10 one because this one actually has some decent sets, like the Death Walker one here, and there are also a bunch of other pretty good sets in here. The only reason I could really see someone going for this chest is just because of the amount of items, the amount of value you get, just because there is a bunch of items in this chest. Now, since it is a Black Friday chest, most of the items are black, or at least very dark coloured, which is expected. But I think it's a little bit overdone and some of them are pretty underwhelming. Unfortunately, it's not just the armors that are a bit underwhelming, especially the pets. With pretty much every 10k chest, you can expect some really good pets. Maybe it has a house, maybe it has some other cool items in between. But the pets are normally pretty good. This one, like I said, it doesn't even have a bank pair or any sort of pair that you can click on and do something with. But, you know, overall, pretty poor chest but not as bad as the number 10 spot. There are a few good capes here though, like the barcode, this dragon one, and a few others which are actually quite nice, but that alone I don't think is enough to put this any higher. In the number 8 spot, we have the Pirate Collection Chest 2018. Now this is where the sets actually start to become a little bit better. This is quite a small chest, but there are a few bangers in here. Uh, if you're not a fan of navels, this probably isn't for you as it does have mostly navels and pirate themed items. But I think if it suits your style and it's something you know you'd like, go for it. It's definitely not one of the best uh, pirate themed chests, but it isn't one of the worst either. The pets are decent as it does have a bank pet in this chest. And also has this skull pet which you can click on. And once you do the quest you can get this helm which is actually really cool. And this is the bank pet in the chest. Overall, decent chest but nothing special. In the number 7 spot we have the Pirate Collection Chest 2019. Now with this one I actually don't like the armors as much as I do the previous one. But I think the strong point of this set is like the capes and the pets. And also it just has a lot more items than the previous one because that one was actually quite a small chest. Overall I'd say this one's actually quite close to number 8. It just depends on your preferences. Some of the helms are also pretty good and quite unique looking. And like I said the capes are also really nice like this one and this one's too, and this one, and these tails. And of course there is a bank pet in this, and also some pets you can click on, like the Pearly Orb quest, which can give you these really cool katanas, or these weapons, or this helm, or this helm. And of course there is a pet you can use to get the badge for this chest, as you can with every chest. In the number 6 spot we have the Dark Holiday Collection Chest 2020. This is the first chest with a class in it, and this is a pretty good class, Shadow Dragon Shinobi. However, if you're an endgame player, it's not going to make much difference to you, and you'll probably just end up banking it. This isn't a massive chest, but there are one or two good armors and items here, like this one, which can make it worth it for you if it's something that really appeals to you. As well as the armors, it also has some quite nice capes. The helms are pretty decent, but nothing special. Like with pretty much every one of these, it does have a bank pair. This one of the nicer capes, and this one too. And this Soundwave cape. A color custom pair, a bank pair, 
and this guy holds an umbrella for you which is pretty cool now we're in the top five territory and these are some of my favorite chests and i actually have some items from these chests when they came out the chaos pirate collection chest 2020 now this has some really nice armors helms swords capes everything just some really nice sets i bought the elegant naval commander a few years ago i almost bought this one and this one if you prefer human solid evil team set and just a bunch of other naval commanders I'm not normally a fan of naval commanders, but these ones are really nice and they won me over. And some of these helms are really nice and they can just fit into a lot of different sets, even if they don't really look like a naval commander. And as for this cape too, really nice good themed cape. And this cape, which has different animation when you're moving. Of course, it also has a bank pair as they usually do and a pair for unlocking a badge. In the number four spot, we have Archman Collection Chest 2020, which might be the most impressive chest on the list as is here purely because of how good the sets look. Pretty much every single armor here just looks insanely good and so do the helms and every other part of the chest. It's quite a nice big chest. You'll get a bunch of value even if you don't like all of the items. This is probably the best Nolgath themed chest I think they've ever made, at least in my opinion. It has nice weapons, capes, and more. And obviously it also has a bank pair as pretty much all of these do. And it also has this pair which gives you a house item that looks like this. Overall really solid chest worth getting. In number 3 spot we have the best ever talk like a parody chest. And there's more to it than just the sets and you'll see why in a second. Now first of all it does have some amazing sets. So look at this and this and this and this and just pretty much all of these. I actually bought this one a few years back. And obviously it's not just the armors it's Pretty much everything, the weapons, the helms, capes, whatever. Uh, obviously it's up to your own personal preference. And like pretty much every collection chest, it has a bank pet. And it also has a pet where you can get a quest to unlock the badge for getting the chest. And most shockingly of all, it has another collection chest inside the collection chest. Shockingly enough, there's another amazing chest inside that chest. And pretty much all these items are really good. It could be a chest all to itself. It's nothing less than some of the other chests in this list. It also has a quest for unlocking the badge for this specific chest. Overall, some really nice pets, capes, weapons, helms, and armors, and more. This is the most value you could get out of a 10k chest. Because it's literally two chests in one. It's the only chest in the game that has two chests in a single chest. In the number two spot, we have the Mirror Realm Collection Chest. And this is one of the only chests with a class in it and a really good one too. This is probably the best support class in the game, Lord of Order. It's not that hard to get, it's only like uh, 7 days of daily quests. So it's not a must get a chest if you don't have Lord of Order. You can just farm it, it's not too hard. But still loads of value. And obviously the armors are also really nice as you can see. It's just like good themed versions of other armors and other helms and stuff but still manages to look really cool and it's really good if good themed items are just like something you like a really nice cape here another one here a sepulchre themed cape which is a little surprising in this uh chest and this pair is actually really good value because it unlocks three different houses this one this one which is kind of the same but different color pretty big house pretty nice oh actually the third house is in the house it's just a house item which looks pretty cool and if that wasn't enough, you have this pair, which unlocks more stuff. As you can see, it's this really cool blade, armor, helm, and morph. Really, really good chest. Definitely worth buying if you're on the edge. Just go for it, in my opinion. And finally, the best chest in the game, in my opinion. Dark Holy Collection Chest 2019. Not only does it have a really good class, the Dark Ultra Omni Knight, which is worth getting even if you're quite a high level player or end game or close to it. But it also has some really nice sets as you can see. I'm actually going to include every single armor in this chest just to show you guys. But yeah, just some really, really good sets here. Looks good in the male and the female versions as you can see. There's not huge differences in some of them, but some of them, well this one, it's the same for both male and female. But yeah, really solid sets and also great helms. And it's not just a class you can get with this. You can also get an entire house and a really good one too. Obviously another really nice cape. And this one's really good too, the Matrix cape. And this is the pet you can use to basically get some really cool houses. As you can see, this is the green version of the house. This is the pink version. This is the blue version. Oh, it's actually a completely different house, but still really cool. This is the pink version of that house. 
And there are more houses too I didn't show, but yeah, definitely worth getting. Also a cool pet here with animation when it explodes. Overall, this is probably the best chest in the game. Not just because of the class and because of the house, but also just really cool designs overall. And if you've just recently got an IOTA and you're worried about spending it, don't worry too much because you get another free one as soon as you spend your first one. This only applies to your first four IOTAs, I think. So if you think you only have one IOTA, you actually have two. Let me know in the comments what you guys disagree with, what would you put higher or lower in this list, and if there's any chests that you regret getting now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and see you guys next time.